Swapping your unwanted gold for cash has become increasingly popular in recent years. And earlier in the program, we heard from Lisa, who was disappointed by her experience with the service that she'd had from the online cash for gold company, the British Gold Refinery. They gave her a quote of more than £500 for a gold watch, only to then offer less than half that amount once she'd sent it off to them. To me, it's underhand and misleading and it shouldn't be allowed to happen. So was Lisa's experience a one-off? Well, we wondered what would happen if we tried to sell some. So we also sent some gold to the British Gold Refinery. Would we, as they claim, get the best price on the market? We selected three pieces of gold, a money clip, a bracelet and a gold chain, and went to a professional jeweler to have them weighed and the carat certified. This piece is 14 carat gold. Um, I've weighed it at 25.27 grams. We also had all three items valued. 14 carat chain, I would give 440 pounds for. The nine carat gold money clip, I would give 138 pounds for. And the bracelets with cupid zirconias and 18 carat gold, I would give 270 pounds for. The jeweller offered a total of £848 for our gold. So, could we get a better offer from the British Gold Refinery? Well, in this video on the home page of its website, the company promises top prices. Do you want to get the most cash for your unwanted gold? If your answer is yes, you couldn't have found a better place. And true to that promise, they instantly seemed to beat the jeweller's valuation by quoting us more than £900 for the gold. So far, so good. And we posted the gold off to them straight away. Our online service guarantees top gold rates. But all hopes of a guaranteed top rate disappeared when, after they'd received our gold, the company reduced its offer by almost two-thirds. They now said all that they'd pay was £335.94. One of our team rang them straight away. You know, I was expecting over £900, really, for what I've sent in. The British Gold Refinery then upped their offer to £360. An improvement, but still over £500 less than their original quote. As a UK leading refinery, we pride ourselves on offering market leading payment rates. So we called them again to see not just why the quote was now so much lower, but how they'd worked it out. For example, how they valued our gold bracelet. What did the bracelet weigh? Four grams. Right, OK. The company claimed that our bracelet consisted of just four grams of gold. That's half as much as certified by our jeweller, whose valuation was based on it containing eight grams. He also certified the gold as 18 carat. So what did the British gold refinery say it was? The bracelet is 16, yeah, yeah. That they were both 9 carat. And though that is the same as the jeweller had said for the clip, he told us that the chain was 14 carat. We decided to decline the British gold refinery's offer and ask for our gold back. It's, it isn't what I was, I was hoping for at all, so... Um, I'd just prefer to, to have them sent back, if that's OK. They promised to call us back, but the phone didn't ring. We also emailed to hold back, and it was returned five days after we first asked. But our experience with what they offered to pay was very similar to what had happened to Lisa. So why had they initially quoted so much more than they were willing to pay? When we asked them just that, the British Gold Refinery told us that they were unable to comment without proof that our valuations were for the same items that we'd sent them. They also said their valuations are based on the scrap value of gold, not a retail, resale or... The company also says how much they offer takes into account their cost and profit margins, which is a usual and expected business model. And they've reiterated that the original quote is based on a guide spot price of gold, with their exact offer only confirmed once they've received the items. But none... It's a huge amount um, to be thinking about. You've, you've got to just get the best price you can. I 
find it very disturbing that, that they can offer such a little amount. I, I would have thought they may have offered maybe £100 less or something um, for their extra work in sending it backs and forwards. Um, but at 335, it, ju it just seems to be that they haven't read the gold properly. There are plenty of other gold companies that you've told us don't pay anything like the price initially quoted. The best advice is to do what we did. Get your gold accurately weighed and valued before you send it off. And shop around so that you can be sure you are getting a fair price. You can find... Here at Rip Off Britain, we're always ready to investigate more of your stories. Confused over your bills? Trying to wade your way through never-ending small print? We should read it, but it's not in plain English. It's not. It should be simple, you know, ABC, you know, very basic stuff. Usually, you get, get ripped off, don't you? You might have a cautionary tale of your own and want to share the mistakes you made with us so that other people don't do the same thing. We paid them good money to act in To QH. Or you can send us an email to ripoffbritain at bbc.co.uk. Remember that the Ripoff team is always ready and waiting to investigate your stories. Ads would have us believe. But even so, when you are forking out good money, you really should expect to get what you paid for. And if you don't, then you need to make sure that you know your rights so that you know the most effective way of getting your money back. And do think about the way you pay for things. Remember that paying... Money...